What causes hallucinations? Hallucinations are perceptual experiences that occur without any external sensory stimuli. They can affect our senses of sight, smell, touch, hearing, and taste. They can range from mild to severe in intensity and can be short-lived or persist for some time. While it is natural to feel concerned about hallucinatory experiences, it is important to understand their causes so that the right steps can be taken to investigate and manage any underlying conditions. In this guide, we will explore the various reasons why hallucinations may occur, ranging from neurological disorders and mental health conditions to dietary changes and stress and anxiety. We will look at how each of these can lead to hallucinations, as well as the symptoms and triggers that people who are prone to experiencing them should be aware of. By understanding possible causes, we can ensure that anyone who has experienced or is experiencing hallucinations gets the help and support they need. Hallucinations can be a scary and disorienting experience. Although they seem real, they are not actually happening. They are internal, created by the mind. A hallucination is defined as perceptions in the absence of external stimuli, meaning that the visions, sounds, tastes, smells, or sensations we encounter are generated from within our own minds. The triggers, symptoms, and effects of hallucinations vary depending on the type of hallucination and the cause. Hallucinations can range from brief, fleeting experiences to intense and persistent episodes. Some people may experience a single episode of a specific type of hallucination, while others may have multiple types of hallucinations that occur regularly. People who experience hallucinations often report feeling confused, scared, or overwhelmed. Depending on the cause, hallucinations can also lead to sleep disturbances, anxiety, and changes in behavior. There are various causes of hallucinations, but some of the most common are mental health conditions, neurological disorders, drugs and medications, sleep disorders, dietary changes, and stress and anxiety. By understanding the potential triggers and symptoms of hallucinations, we can work to better understand and manage this phenomenon. Hallucinations involve perceiving something that is not actually there and can range from simple visions or sounds to more complex experiences. It is important to understand the different types of hallucinations in order to better understand their causes. Visual hallucinations are when people experience seeing something that isn't actually present. This could include seeing images, colors, shapes, or even people. It is relatively common for people with mental health conditions such as schizophrenia or bipolar disorder to experience visual hallucinations. Auditory hallucinations involve hearing voices or other sounds that are not real. People may hear one or multiple voices speaking to them. Those with mental health disorders may experience auditory hallucinations, but it can also occur in those who do not have any known underlying condition. Olfactory hallucinations refer to smelling something that is not actually present. Individuals may detect a wide range of odors, from pleasant aromas like flowers to unpleasant smells like smoke or rotting meat. This type of hallucination is more common in those with a neurological disorder, such as epilepsy or Parkinson's disease. It is important to remember that there is no single cause of hallucinations. They can arise from a variety of mental, physical, and environmental factors. Knowing the different types of hallucinations can offer insight into the potential causes and treatments available. Mental health conditions and hallucinations. Many people may associate hallucinations with mental health conditions, such as schizophrenia and bipolar disorder. It is true that these conditions can increase your risk of experiencing hallucinations. However, they are not the only factors that cause hallucinations. Schizophrenia is a disorder that affects your thoughts, emotions, and behaviors, leading to difficulty managing everyday activities. Symptoms of schizophrenia include increased risk of psychosis, delusions, and disordered thinking. These symptoms can sometimes lead to hallucinations, such as hearing voices or seeing things that aren't there. Treatment for schizophrenia usually includes a combination of medication and psychotherapy. Bipolar disorder is another mental health condition that can lead to hallucinations. Bipolar disorder is characterized by extreme mood swings between periods of mania and depression. During periods of mania, people experience very high moods along with increased energy levels and agitation. These manic episodes can also be accompanied by hallucinations, 
often in the form of auditory or visual sensations. It is important to remember that there are many factors that can contribute to hallucinations, and not all of them are related to mental health conditions. However, it is worth noting that those who suffer from mental health problems are more likely to have hallucinations than those who do not. If you suspect that you or someone you know is experiencing hallucinations, it is important to seek medical help as soon as possible. Neurological Disorders Neurological disorders can be a cause of hallucinations in some individuals. The most common neurological disorders that are linked to hallucinations are epilepsy and Parkinson's disease. Epilepsy is a neurological disorder that affects the brain and is characterized by seizures. It is believed that during a seizure, a person may experience visual, auditory, and olfactory hallucinations. Individuals who suffer from epilepsy may also have sleep-related hallucinations, which are often vivid and frightening. Parkinson's disease is another neurological disorder which has been linked to hallucinations. This particular disorder is a progressive nervous system disorder that impairs the body's ability to control movement. It is believed that hallucinations in people with Parkinson's disease are due to the release of certain neurotransmitters in the brain, such as dopamine, which can affect the visual, auditory, and olfactory senses. It is important to note that not everyone with these neurological disorders will experience hallucinations. In some cases, it can be a rare side effect that is unpredictable and short-lived. Drugs and medications. Certain drugs and medications, both prescription and over-the-counter, can cause hallucinations. Hallucinations caused by drugs or medications are known as toxic-induced hallucinations. Common substances that have been known to induce hallucinations include alcohol, illegal drugs, and even some antidepressants. These substances can affect the brain's chemistry, leading to changes in perception, thinking, and behavior. Alcohol is one of the most common triggers for hallucinations. It affects the brain directly while also causing changes to hormone levels. These changes can lead to distorted thinking and hallucinations. Similarly, illegal drugs such as LSD, ecstasy, and PCP can cause hallucinations. They can also cause long-term mental health issues. Antidepressants, tranquilizers, and sleeping pills can also cause hallucinations. If taken in large doses, these drugs can cause a person to hallucinate. People with medical conditions such as epilepsy and Parkinson's disease may also experience hallucinations due to their medications. Hallucinations caused by drugs and medications can be debilitating and frightening. As such, it is important to seek professional medical advice if you suspect you or someone else has experienced hallucinations due to drugs or medications. Sleep is one of the primary ways we rest and recharge our bodies, but sometimes sleep disturbances can lead to hallucinations. Sleep disorders like night terrors, nightmares, and insomnia are all associated with the potential of experiencing hallucinations. Night terrors are a form of sleep disturbance which occur in the first few hours of sleep. During a night terror, a person may cry out or experience intense fear while still asleep. Although the individual is not truly awake during the incident, the intense emotions are often carried over into the conscious state and can cause hallucinations. Nightmares are another type of sleep disorder that can lead to hallucinations. Nightmares occur in the third stage of sleep, known as REM sleep, in which dreaming is most active. During nightmares, the individual may experience strong emotions and vivid dream imagery, both of which can persist after awakening and potentially cause hallucinations. Finally, insomnia is a condition characterized by difficulty falling asleep or staying asleep. In some cases, people with insomnia may experience intense dreams and persistent thoughts during their periods of wakefulness. These thoughts can sometimes manifest as hallucinations due to insufficient rest and lack of restorative sleep. In conclusion, sleep disturbances such as night terrors, nightmares, and insomnia can sometimes be linked to the occurrence of hallucinations. It is important to recognize any signs of sleep disturbances and take steps to ensure a healthy sleep pattern. This can include setting a consistent sleep schedule, limiting screen time before bed, and avoiding caffeine and large meals late at night. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss an episode of Caregiver Relief.